Winter. Once the fall is over and the snowflakes start to fall, I get very excited. I can hardly wait for the ground to be covered with a blanket of white snow. I put on my mittens, my scarf, my hat, coat, and winter boots, and I run out into the fluffy snow. I have to be careful not to slip on the ice. It can get very icy and cold in the winter. The first thing that I do is to build a snowman. I sometimes build a snow fort too. My friends and I have a good snowball fight. We laugh a lot, and our cheeks and noses get very red. When we get too cold, we go into the house and have a cup of hot chocolate. My father fills the backyard with water that freezes and turns into an ice rink. When the ice is hard enough, my friends and I get our skates and we go out on the ice to play hockey. All of my friends own hockey sticks. I am usually the goalie, and I have to keep the puck from going into the net. My sister and her friends don't really like to play hockey; they would rather just skate around on the ice. I took skating lessons, so I don't usually fall down. My little brother is just learning to skate, so he falls down a lot. My father has to shovel the snow off the paths and the driveway in the winter. I help him. Shoveling snow is hard work. When my dad and I finish shoveling the driveway, we go into the house and warm our hands and feet in front of the fireplace. There is probably nothing more beautiful than fresh fallen snow on the trees. In the morning, when the sun shines on the snow, it glistens. I like to leave my footprints in the snow. Winter can be very beautiful and exciting. Spring. It rains a lot in the spring. The trees are full of buds, and the flowers are starting to bloom. My favorite spring flowers are tulips and daffodils. The birds come back from the south. I can always tell that spring is here when I see my first robin of the season. The robins pull worms from the wet ground. When it isn't raining, my friends and I go outside and toss a ball around. We look forward to the summer, but we are glad to get outside after the long winter. The air smells so fresh in the spring. My mother always tells me not to track mud into the house. It's very muddy in our yard in the springtime. I wipe my muddy feet before I go into the house. There are a lot of puddles in my yard. I sometimes splash in the puddles, and I get wet and cold, so I have to go into the house. I like it when the snow has melted, the rain has stopped, and the sun comes out. On sunny days, I always get together with my friends. On those days, we either ride our bikes or play ball. My parents like to go for walks on spring evenings. They also like to clean up the yard in the spring. Everyone seems to be outside. The springtime brings people out of their houses. Summer. Yahoo! School is over. We are free for the summer. My friends and I run out on the last day of school into the bright summer sun. We sing a song about no more pencils and no more books. We can hardly wait to do all the summer things that we like to do. We go swimming. We play baseball. We ride our bikes and we go to the beach. We go on vacations, or some of us go to summer camp. It is just nice to run barefoot through the grass, or lie on your back and look up at the clouds. Summer days are lazy days. We don't have to do schoolwork. We listen to the buzzing of the bees. We watch the birds as they fly from tree to tree. We go down to the pond and toss rocks into the water. We eat ice cream and we have barbecues. Some of my friends' parents have boats, so we go for rides in their boats. Some of my friends go to their cottages. They have cottages on lakes. Some of my friends even have summer jobs. My best friend works at a supermarket. My father pays me to do jobs for him. I cut the grass, take out the garbage, and wash the car. I like to be outside in the sunshine. On Sundays, my mother will pack a picnic lunch, and we go down to the park. Sometimes we play baseball. There is also a tennis court at the park. I'm a very good tennis player. 
My sister just likes to swing on the swings and slide down the slide. We eat our sandwiches and watch out for the ants that always seem to be at picnics. After we have our lunch, my sister and I run off to play with the other children. My dad has a nap, and my mother reads her book. My skin gets brown from the sun in the summer. Summer is my favorite season. I like the sounds, smells, and feelings that come with the summer sun. Summer is a lot of fun. I wish summer could go on forever. Autumn. Some people call autumn the fall. You can call it either one. Autumn is the time when the leaves change color. They change from green to beautiful shades of gold, orange, and red. It looks like an artist has come along and painted all the trees. The air starts to get a little colder in the autumn. We begin to wear jackets or sweaters. We go back to school in the autumn. The teacher sometimes gets us to make leaf collections. We collect different types of leaves and make a display of them. Autumn is the time when old friends get back together and talk about what they did on their summer vacations. Halloween comes in the autumn. We dress up in costumes. Some of them are scary and some of them are funny. We go from door to door and say "trick or treat," and people give us candies. We wear masks on our faces and we have a lot of fun. The autumn winds start to blow. The wind blows the leaves right off the trees until the trees have bare branches. My friends and I have a lot of fun outside before the winter leaves us shivering. We play football and soccer at school. After school, we ride our bikes through the piles of dry leaves. The leaves go flying through the air as we drive through them. My parents rake the leaves up and put them in a big pile. I like to jump in the big piles of leaves, but then my parents just have to rake them up again. The skies get a little cloudier in the autumn, and we know that soon there will be snow. So we enjoy the brisk autumn weather while we can. Clothing. I change my clothes a lot. If I am going somewhere fancy, I wear a dress. I wear stockings on my legs, and I wear a pair of nice shoes. If I am going to play sports, I wear a sweatshirt and jeans. If I am going to the beach, I wear a bathing suit or a bikini. My brother wears swimming trunks to the beach. At work, I wear a skirt and a blouse. Underneath my clothes, I wear underwear. A lady wears a bra and panties as underwear. A man wears boxer or jockey shorts as underwear. Today, I am wearing a blouse and a pair of jeans over my underwear. I have socks and shoes on my feet. In the summer, I often wear sandals on my feet. In the summer, the tops that I wear are usually sleeveless. I usually wear shorts in the summer. Sometimes I wear a sweater or a jacket if the weather is cool. I wear a cap or a hat on my head. I wear a belt to hold up my jeans or my slacks. Women sometimes wear a dress or a skirt. Men wear a pair of slacks and a shirt. Some men wear a suit and a shirt and tie. If it is very cold outside, I wear a winter coat. If it is cold, I like to wear gloves or mittens on my hands. Sometimes I wrap a scarf around my neck to keep warm. I wear a toque on my head in cold weather. I wear boots on my feet in the winter. If it is raining, I wear a raincoat. The way that I dress depends a lot on the weather. Colors. Red is a vibrant color. Roses are sometimes red. Blood is red. White is the color of snow. Clouds are very often white. Blue is the color of the sky and the ocean. Black isn't really a color at all. Tar is black. A crow is black. Green is the color of grass. 
It is also the color of leaves on the trees in the summer. Brown is the color of dirt. Many people have brown hair. Yellow is a bright color. Most people use yellow when they draw a picture of the sun. Orange is an easy color to remember. That is because an orange is orange. Pink is the color that we dress baby girls in. We dress baby boys in blue. Purple is the color of some violets. The Canadian flag is red and white. What color is your flag? The restaurant. When you go to a restaurant, you might see a sign that says "Please wait to be seated." A host or hostess will ask you how many people are in your party. Then they will want to know if you want to sit in the smoking or non-smoking section. The host or hostess will take you to your seat. You might sit at a table or at a booth. The host or hostess will give you a menu to look at. Sometimes there are different menus for different meals. There can be a breakfast menu, a lunch menu, and a dinner menu. Sometimes there is also a wine list and a dessert menu. The food and the prices of the food are listed on the menu. On your table, there will be cutlery. Cutlery is the knives, forks, and spoons. There will also be a napkin. You are supposed to put your napkin on your lap when you eat. Your waiter or waitress will take your order. You might want an appetizer before your meal. Some people want a salad or soup before their meal. After your meal, you might have a dessert or tea or coffee. When it is time to go, you will pay your bill and leave a tip for the waiter or waitress. Money. I keep my money in the bank. I have saved up my money. I saved all my pennies in a jar. A penny is only worth one cent. I have nickels. A nickel is worth five cents. A dime is worth ten cents. A quarter is worth twenty-five cents. A quarter is a quarter of a dollar. Four quarters make up a dollar. A dollar is worth one hundred cents. I saved up all of my dollars. Our dollars used to be paper, but now they are coins. We call our dollars loonies. It's a funny name. We also have two-dollar coins. We call those toonies. We have five-dollar bills and ten-dollar bills. If you are lucky, you will have twenty-dollar bills, fifty-dollar bills, and even hundred-dollar bills. Our bills in Canada are different colors. That makes them easy to recognize if you go somewhere to spend them. It is wise to save your money. If you save enough, you could have hundreds or thousands of dollars. Manners. It is good to be polite. People like you more when you are polite. Always say please and thank you. If you ask for some milk, you should say, "Please, may I have a glass of milk?" When someone gives you the milk, you should respond with, "Thank you." It is not difficult to be polite. You should not push or shove people. You should cover your mouth when you cough or sneeze. You should address people properly. If you are trying to get someone's attention, you would say "Excuse me." You wouldn't say "Hey, you." There are table manners. That is where you eat properly and politely at the dinner table. You don't shove food into your mouth. You don't reach over other people's plates. You don't talk with your mouth full. All of these things are common sense. Being polite is mostly thinking about how you would like to be treated. You wouldn't want people to be impolite to you. It is not polite to point at people. It is not polite to burp out loud. It is not polite to use someone else's things without asking first. Being polite just comes naturally if you have been brought up in a home where everyone was polite. Going camping. The Bright family went camping on the weekend. The Bright family went to Silent Lake. The Bright family left on Friday. They camped for three days. The Bright family brought a big tent. They brought a lot of food. They brought insect repellent. The Bright family had a campfire on Friday. They roasted marshmallows. They sang campfire songs. On Saturday. They went canoeing. On Saturday, they went fishing. On Saturday, they went swimming. 
They went hiking on Sunday. The Bright family saw many birds. They saw blue jays. They saw hummingbirds. The Bright family saw many animals. They saw a raccoon. They saw a squirrel. But they didn't see a bear. The Bright family had a fun vacation. Halloween Night Halloween is fun. My mom buys candy. My mom buys potato chips. My mom buys chocolate bars. It is for the trick or treaters. My mom buys me a costume. It is a ghost costume. I am going to be scary. My sister is going to dress up as a princess. She will have a wand. She will have a crown. She will look beautiful. My dad buys a pumpkin. It is going to be a jack o' lantern. We draw a face on the pumpkin. We carve the face with a knife. Our jack o' lantern looks funny. We go trick or treating. We knock on the neighbor's door. We say, trick or treat. Our neighbors give us candy. We say thanks. We go to many houses. We go home. Our parents check our candy. It's safe. We eat lots of candy. We don't feel very good. We go to bed. Christmas Eve. Ben and Melissa are getting ready for Christmas. Ben and Melissa's house has lots of lights on the roof. The lights are many colors. Inside, they listen to Christmas music. Ben and Melissa drink eggnog. Eggnog tastes good. Ben and Melissa hang stockings on the fireplace. They string popcorn. Ben and Melissa put the popcorn string on the Christmas tree. They put Christmas lights on the tree. They put tinsel on the tree. Ben and Melissa put ornaments on the tree. They put a star on top of the tree. They get ready for Santa Claus. They leave milk and cookies for Santa. Ben opens one present. Melissa opens one present. They go to sleep. Ben and Melissa wake up early. They run downstairs. There are a lot of presents under our tree. They wake up their mom and dad. Ben and Melissa open their presents. They love our presents. Everyone cleans up the wrapping paper. It is time for breakfast. Describing things. Some things are different shapes. They can be described by their shape. A circle is round. A compact disc is a circle. A square has four equal sides. A rectangle is similar, but two of the sides are longer. A triangle has only three sides. Have you ever seen anyone play a triangle in an orchestra? The word triangle can stand for an instrument or a shape. An oval is rounded, but it is not round. An egg is an oval shape. The floor is flat. If something is smooth, it has no bumps or lumps. Silk is smooth. Some things are rough. Sandpaper is rough. If something is dull, it is not sharp or pointed. A dull knife will not cut bread because the blade is not sharp. If something is pointed, it has a sharp end. A sharp pencil has a pointed end. A pencil that has been used a lot and hasn't been sharpened has a dull end. Some things are soft. A teddy bear is soft. It feels good to touch. Some things are hard. A rock is hard. Soft can also represent a noise level. If you have a soft voice, it is not very loud. If someone tells you to speak softly, they want you to speak quietly. Loud is the word used to describe noises that hurt your ears. A big truck will make a loud noise. Sometimes your mother will tell you that your music is too loud. The Farm My uncle is a farmer. 
He lives on a farm. He has many different types of animals. In the barn, there are horses and cows. The cows swish the flies away from themselves with their tails. It sounds very loud if a cow says moo when you are standing there. The cows eat the grass from my uncle's field. He gets milk from the cows. I put a saddle on one of the horses and went for a ride. There are pigs in the pig pen. He has goats. He says that the goats will eat just about anything. He has a chicken coop with chickens in it. The chickens lay eggs. Have you ever seen baby chicks? They are very cute. My uncle collects the eggs every morning. There is a rooster, too. The rooster crows when the sun comes up. My uncle also has a goose. The goose makes a honking noise. I don't think that the goose likes me. It nips me when I go near it. Many cats live in my uncle's barn. They are stray cats, but he lets them stay there because they keep the mice away. My uncle feeds the cats. My uncle says that he would like to get some sheep for his farm. You can get wool from sheep. There are a lot of animals on my uncle's farm. Favorite colors. My very favorite color is purple. There are not a lot of things that are purple. Some grapes are purple. Sometimes the sky looks purple. My second favorite color is blue. Some things are blue. The sky is blue and water is blue. Many people have blue eyes. Green is a very common color in nature. Trees are green in the summer. Some trees are green all year long. Grass is green. Sometimes water looks green. Many people have green eyes. Many vegetables are green. Broccoli, cabbage, beans, lettuce, peas, and cucumbers are all green. Green vegetables are very good for you. Yellow is a bright color. The sun looks yellow. Bananas are yellow. Some people have yellow hair. Daffodils and dandelions are yellow. White is a common color, especially in the winter. Snow is white. Clouds are white. Polar bears, some dogs, and some cats are white. There are white flowers that grow. Some flowers are red. Roses can be red. Blood is red. Sometimes the sky is red at night or in the morning. Artists use all these colors to make beautiful paintings. Nature used all these colors to make the beautiful earth. We are fortunate to be surrounded by beauty. We should do our part to make sure that nature stays beautiful and clean. Parties. Parties can be a lot of fun. People get invited to parties. You can have a party because it is a special occasion, or just because you want to have a party. Sometimes people wear paper hats at parties. These are called party hats. Some people decorate with streamers and balloons. At some parties, there is a cake. Sometimes there are just snacks and drinks. At some parties, people play games. There are also parties where people just stand around and talk. People wear different things to parties. You can go to some parties in casual clothes. At other parties, you need to be dressed up in good clothes. There are other parties where you are supposed to wear a costume. There are many different kinds of parties. There are Christmas parties, birthday parties, going away parties, and parties for no reason at all. I have been to parties for people who are retiring, or for people who have just had a new baby. There are hundreds of reasons for having a party. At some parties, you take a gift. 
If it is a birthday party, then you take a gift and a birthday card to the person who is having the birthday. Sometimes people will ask you to bring food or drinks to the party. All parties are different. It is nice to be invited to parties. The two sexes. There are two sexes or genders. There is the male gender and there is the female gender. Males and females are different, both physically and mentally. Humans are both male and female, and animals are both male and female. If you have a dog, it is either a girl dog or a boy dog. Boys grow up to be men. Men grow hair on their faces. Men are usually more muscular than women. Men dress differently than women. Men are males. Males are masculine. Girls grow up to be women. Only women can have babies. Women are females. Females are feminine. Another word for women is ladies. It is good that we have males and females. Your father is a male. Your grandfather, brother, and uncle are males. Your mother is a female. Your grandmother, sister, and aunt are female. Me. I am special. Nobody in the world is exactly like I am. They might have the same hair color and eyes that I do, but they are not exactly like me. I am the only person in the world who thinks my thoughts. No two people in the world are exactly alike. It is good to be your own person. It is good to be creative, and be natural. People have to follow the laws and the rules. People should always be kind to others. I try to follow all the rules. I am kind to others. I am a lot like many other people. Yet, I am different. I am like my friend Jane, but she has red hair, and I have dark hair. She has a loud voice, and I have a soft voice. She likes to eat vegetables, and I do not. Jane and I are the same height. We both like movies. And we are both afraid of spiders. We wear the same size shoes, and we both have the same favorite color. We are best friends, but sometimes we disagree about things. We are alike in many ways, and different in many ways. If we were all exactly the same, the world would be a very boring place. I am myself, and I am glad that I am special. You are special too. Use your own special talents, and take the time to meet other people. The world is made up of a lot of different people, and that's what makes life exciting. House. A house is divided into different rooms. In my house, there is a living room. There is a couch, two chairs, a coffee table, and a television set. In the living room, in the kitchen, there is a stove and a refrigerator. There is also a sink and a dishwasher in the kitchen. There is a kitchen table and chairs. We eat most of our meals at the kitchen table. We have a dining room. There is a dining table and chairs in there. There is a washroom or bathroom. There is a toilet, sink, and bathtub. In the bathroom, there is also a shower in the bathroom. We have three bedrooms. The bedrooms are upstairs. My brother's room, my room, and my parents' room all have beds in them. We also have dressers in our rooms. There are closets in all of the bedrooms. We keep our clothes in the closets. There is a basement in our house. We store things in the basement. There is a laundry room in the basement. There is a washing machine and a dryer in the laundry room. This is where we wash and dry our clothes. There is a garage attached to the house. We keep the car in the garage. You drive up the driveway and into the garage. We also have a front yard and a backyard. There is a vegetable garden in the backyard. There are some flowers and a tree planted in the front yard.
Travel. It is fun to take a trip to a faraway place. My brother just went to Italy and France. He got on a plane at Toronto Airport. He took a flight to France. He stayed there for a couple of days. He visited the Eiffel Tower. He was in Paris. He said that he enjoyed the food in France. He then traveled to Italy. He saw many towns and villages in Italy. He went to Rome and visited many of the tourist attractions. In Venice, he saw the canals. He tried to speak Italian, but he is not too good at it. He said that the people were very helpful. They tried to understand him. He bought souvenirs for us when he was in Italy. He ate Italian food. He said that pizza in Italy is quite different from the pizza we eat here in Canada. He saw many streets that were made of cobblestones. He saw many old buildings. A lot of people in Italy travel around on scooters. He stayed at a very nice hotel in Italy. He was sorry when it was time to come home. My brother likes to travel. He likes to fly in airplanes. The airlines lost his luggage once. He was not too pleased about that. Next year, he would like to travel to England. Interests and hobbies. It is very rewarding to have different interests and hobbies. Some people like to play computer games. Other people spend a lot of time watching television. There are people who would rather watch movies. Some people prefer more physical things. They would rather play a sport, like baseball, hockey, or basketball. Some people do exercises at a gym, or they just go for walks. There are many ways to exercise. They can ride a bicycle or lift weights. There are people who like to collect things. They can collect all kinds of different things. You can collect stamps, coins, dolls, postcards, movies, rocks, or posters. Some people even collect bugs or leaves. Some people are lucky enough to be able to travel. You can travel to a nearby place, or you can travel far away to a different country. There are people who like to listen to music. People have different tastes in music. Some people like rock music, rap, classical music, or folk music. There are many different types of music. Some people would rather play music than listen to it. You can play an instrument, or you can sing. Many people learn to play the guitar or the piano. Some people join bands or orchestras. There are people who like to read books. There are a lot of different hobbies. It depends on what you consider to be fun. You can have more than one hobby or interest. It is good to be interested in a lot of different things. Food. What kinds of food do you like to eat? I am lucky because in Canada there are many foods to choose from. I like to eat hot dogs, hamburgers, and steak. These are all meat products. I also like cheese, ice cream, and yogurt. These are all dairy products. I like vegetables. My favorite vegetables are broccoli, cabbage, carrots, and peas. I eat a lot of fruit. I eat whichever fruit is in season. In strawberry season, I eat a lot of strawberries. In peach season, I eat many peaches. Sometimes my mother will make a peach pie. Many different crops grow in Canada. We have many orchards and farms. Fresh fruit and vegetables are plentiful in Canada. 
Meat and fish are also plentiful here. In Canada, we have a lot of different foods to choose from. In my city, there are a lot of Italian restaurants. My favorite food at the Italian restaurant is pizza. My parents would rather have spaghetti or lasagna. There are Greek restaurants, Mexican restaurants, and Chinese restaurants. In fact, there are restaurants from most cultures. I can go around from restaurant to restaurant and pretend that I am traveling the world and trying all the different foods from around the world. Sometimes I eat things that aren't good for me. I eat potato chips and candies. These foods aren't part of a nutritious diet, but they are fun to eat. Working outside. Today I was working outside. It was a sunny day, and I was very hot. I wore a hat on my head. I watered all the plants. I weeded the flower beds. I cut back all of the plants that were growing too big. I gave some of the plants plant food. I cut the lawn. I raked the lawn. I filled up the bird baths with water. I swept the sidewalks and the paths. I took out the garbage. I filled the car up with gas. I washed the car. I hung out the clothes on the clothesline. I washed down the lawn furniture. I washed all of the windows on the house from the outside. I was so tired, so I had a glass of lemonade. I talked to my neighbor, and I helped her trim a tree. I planted some bulbs, and then I went into the house. I was exhausted. Daily schedule. I wake up every morning at seven o'clock. I take a shower. I eat my breakfast. I usually have toast or cereal. I brush my teeth. I put on my clothes. I catch the school bus. I ride to school. In my class, we have math and English before recess. At recess time, the girls skip or walk around and talk. The boys play in the playground or play baseball. After recess, we have physical education and geography. We eat lunch, and then we play outside. When the bell rings, we line up to go back into the classroom. After lunch, we have history and science. At recess, we play ball again. Some of the girls play ball too. In the winter, we build snowmen. If it is too cold, we stay indoors and talk to each other. After recess, we have music and health. We get out of school at three thirty. I sometimes walk home with my friends, or I take the bus. I have a snack and change my clothes when I get home. If it is raining, I watch television. If it is nice outside. I play with my friends. I have supper at five thirty. On some nights, I help my mother to do the dishes. After supper, I do my homework. I wash my face and hands and brush my teeth. I change into my pajamas. I go to bed at nine o'clock. Music. My family is very musical. My father plays the guitar. He plays in a band. The band plays country music. My mother is a singer in the band. She also plays the piano. I took the flute in music class at school. I play the flute in the school band. I also sing in the school choir. I have a low voice. My sister has a high voice. She is a soprano. At home. I like to practice the drums, but my mother says that it's too loud. Sometimes I play so loudly that I break a drumstick. I practice whenever she goes out. I would like to be in a rock band. Some of my friends and I are thinking of starting our own rock band. My sister is a very good piano player. She has won many awards at music festivals. She likes to play classical music. But sometimes I get her to play rock music with me. She is also a very good singer. 
I like to sing with her. We sing in harmony. I listen to music all the time on the radio. I know a lot of songs. I can sing along with most of the songs that come on the radio. I memorize the lyrics of the songs. My sister and I sometimes get together and sing our favorite songs. Maybe someday we will start our own rock band, and I will be the drummer. The birthday party. Yesterday, I went to a birthday party. My friend Jane had her tenth birthday. Her house was decorated with balloons and streamers. Her mother had baked a big birthday cake. The cake had "Happy Tenth Birthday, Jane" written on it. There were ten candles on the cake. Jane blew out the candles and made a wish. I wonder what she wished for. Your wish won't come true if you tell anyone what it was. We sang "Happy Birthday to You." At the party, we played some games. I won one of the games, so I got a prize. We also swam in Jane's swimming pool. Jane opened her gifts. Her gifts were wrapped in bright paper and bows. She got lots of nice gifts. She got some compact discs, some clothes, and some computer games. Jane thanked everyone. We ate a lot of food at Jane's party. We had hot dogs. I put mustard and ketchup on my hot dog. Then we ate cake and ice cream. We had pop to drink. I think I had too much cake and ice cream. I was very full by the time the party was over. We thanked Jane and her mother before we all went home. It was a very good party. Everyone had a good time. I hope Jane had a happy tenth birthday. Transportation. People move from place to place. There are lots of ways you can move around from one place to another. Sometimes you can just move your feet and walk. Walking is good for you. Some places are too far to walk to. You might have to ride a bicycle or ride on a skateboard. Some places are too far away to ride your bicycle to. You might have to drive in a car or a van. Or even a truck. My father has a car. My uncle has a van. I have never been in a big truck. Trucks are usually used to carry big loads from one city to another. I would like to be a truck driver. I would travel all over and sit high up in the cab. I have been in a taxi cab. Once my mother and I took a taxi to the hospital. There was a special meter in the taxi. When we finished our taxi ride, the driver looked at the meter to find out how much money we owed him. I once rode a horse. I sat in the saddle and held on tight to the reins. The horse ran very fast. It was a bumpy ride. And I was afraid that I would fall off the horse. Not too many people around here use horses for transportation. They used to use horses for transportation in the old days. If you want to travel very far away, you have to go on a train, a plane, or a boat. If you are in a hurry, it is best to take a plane. Planes fly through the air very fast. Trains go along the tracks. Sometimes I can hear the train whistle from my house. Boats take a long time to cross the ocean. Great big boats that cross the oceans are called ships. If you like to take it easy and look out at the water, then ships are a good way to travel. They say that the world is a lot smaller now because of transportation. People can travel to all parts of the world quickly and easily. The world is not really smaller, but it has become easy to get to faraway places. Television. Do you watch television? My mother says that I watch too much television. 
I watch cartoons on Saturday mornings. Cartoons make me laugh. My brother and I each have our favorite cartoons. We have trouble deciding which cartoons we will watch. On Saturday afternoons, we like to watch sports. My brother really likes to watch baseball, but usually my mother tells us to go out and play on a Saturday afternoon. On weeknights, we have our own favorite shows. I like shows about outer space and monsters. My brother likes comedies. He likes to laugh. My mother likes shows about real life situations. She likes to watch the news. She says that the news is important. She watches the news and weather to find out what is going on in the world. Sometimes she watches real life shows about doctors or policemen. My father doesn't watch television. He says that he would rather read a good book or the newspaper. My dad gets all his news from the newspaper. My favorite thing is to sit in front of the television with a bag of popcorn and a bottle of pop. I sit there and change the channels with the remote control. I change channels and watch a few different shows at once. My mother won't let me watch too much television. She doesn't want me to get lazy. Television is good if you don't spend too much time watching it. You can learn a lot from television if you watch the educational channels. I learned about dinosaurs and rainforests last week just from watching television. The police. My mother always told me that if I was lost, I could go up to a policeman, and that he would help me to find my way home. I never did get lost, but I always remembered what my mother told me about the police. I think policemen look very nice in their uniforms. I see police officers drive by in their police cars. In my town, we even have police officers on bicycles. Policemen and police women have a job that can sometimes be dangerous. They have to catch people who break the law. Sometimes they have to chase people or try to calm people down. To be a police officer, you need a lot of training. It's important to be able to deal with people effectively. A police officer came to our school. He had a police dog with him. The officer showed us how the dog could track down criminals. The dog was very smart. He could even find things that were hidden. Criminals sometimes hide things that they don't want the police to find. The policeman told us that he and his dog were partners. His dog lives at his house with the policeman and his family. Sometimes I see police cars on the side of the road. The police stop people who are speeding. Or are not wearing their seat belts. The police officers warn people or give out tickets. Sometimes they even have to arrest people. Police officers are just doing their job when they arrest people. Some people need to be arrested and put in jail to make it safer for the rest of us. Pretending. I like to pretend. I like to make up things that aren't real. I use my imagination. I was pretending that I was in a time machine. I set the date for a prehistoric time. I turned on the time machine and it buzzed and whirred and spun madly. When it stopped spinning, I opened the door and stepped out into a very thick jungle. I listened carefully to the sounds of the jungle. I could hear strange animal noises and the leaves were rustling. I wasn't sure if I'd gone back in time or had just landed in a jungle somewhere in the twenty-first century. It didn't take me long to realize that I had indeed gone back in time. A very strange bird-like creature with a large beak flew overhead. I had never seen anything like it in my life.
I took a few steps out into the long grass and ferns. I didn't want to go too far away from my time machine. I heard a noise over on my right side. There was a man who looked quite different from me. He was dressed in an animal skin, and he carried a big stick. I didn't want him to see me, so I hid behind a tree. He didn't speak any language that I could understand. He grunted at someone who must have been in the distance. Then I felt the earth shake beneath my feet. I heard giant thumps on the ground as the floor of the jungle shook. The man in the animal skin began to run. I saw why he was running. A giant dinosaur appeared above the tops of the trees. It was bigger than anything I had ever seen. My heart began to pound in my chest. It was coming toward me. I ran toward my time machine and jumped in. I set the dial for the 21st century. The machine whirred and buzzed. My time machine landed in the 21st century. I got away just in time. Learning How to Drive Amy is 16 years old. She lives in a small town. Amy is learning how to drive. Amy's dad is giving her lessons. Amy's dad's name is Howard. Amy has had three lessons. Amy and her dad argue during the lessons. Amy's mom is giving her driving lessons. Amy's mom's name is Jane. Jane has given Amy a lesson. Jane has decided to stop giving Amy lessons. Jane and Amy argue during the lessons, too. Amy's parents call a driving school. Amy is going to get lessons from a professional. The classes cost $300 for 10 lessons. The lessons are very good. Amy learns how to drive. Amy gets her license. Housework There is always housework to do when you live in a house. You have to wash the windows so that you can see outside. The floors and the carpets need to be vacuumed. The floors also need to be washed, and some of them need to be waxed. The furniture has to be polished. The bathroom has to be kept clean. After you have a bath, you need to clean out the bathtub. Laundry needs to be done regularly, or you will run out of clothes to wear. The clothes go into the washing machine, and then they have to be dried in the dryer. Sometimes we hang the clothes out on the line to be dried. Some of the clothes need to be ironed. You have to buy groceries and put them away. Meals need to be made. You can't let the dishes pile up in the kitchen. The dishes have to be washed, and the counters need to be wiped. The stove needs to be cleaned, and sometimes the refrigerator and the cupboards need to be cleaned out. You can dust the furniture and sweep up the dirt. You can make the beds. The beds have to be changed, too. They need to have clean sheets put on them. There are just so many things to do. Household chores take up a lot of time. Transportation Every family that I know has at least one car. Some families have two or even three cars. Most people get their license to drive when they are 16. In my house, we just have one car. If my father takes the car to work, my mother will take the bus. I ride in a school bus to school. My sister works in another town. She gets on the train to go to work. The train station is not far from my house. The train tracks run right by my house. My grandfather from Ireland comes to visit us. He came over by boat. He had to cross the ocean. We went to Florida last year. We flew on a plane. The plane flew right through the clouds. My friend's brother drives a motorcycle. He wears a helmet. I rode on his motorcycle once. I had to sit on the back and hold on tight. I ride my bicycle when the weather is nice. 
I also have a scooter that I use to travel around. I took a helicopter ride once. The helicopter's propellers were going around when I got on. I went straight up in the air. I enjoyed the ride. I would like to learn how to fly a plane or a helicopter. I like flying through the air. Video designed by English7Levels.com Holidays In Canada, we have many different days that we celebrate. On the first day of January, there is New Year's Day. That is when we ring in the new year and say goodbye to the old year. In February, there is Valentine's Day. That is the day when you tell your girlfriend or boyfriend that you love them. You can buy them flowers or candy or take them out to dinner. In March, there is St. Patrick's Day. Everyone pretends that they are Irish on St. Patrick's Day. They all wear green. Easter comes in the spring. Easter is a religious holiday. Some people celebrate by going to church. Some people think that the Easter Bunny comes and leaves chocolate eggs for them. In May, there is Victoria Day. We celebrate this day in honor of England's Queen Victoria. There are fireworks on Victoria Day. July the 1st is Canada Day. In September, there is Labor Day. This is the day that we honor the working man or woman. In October, there is Thanksgiving. We give thanks for all the things that we are fortunate enough to have. We usually have a turkey dinner on Thanksgiving Day. On the last day of October, there is Halloween. The children dress up in costumes and go from door to door collecting candies. Remembrance Day is in November. People wear red poppies and they remember all the people that died for their country. Christmas comes in December. Christmas is also a religious holiday, but many children believe that Santa Claus arrives on Christmas Eve in a sleigh pulled by reindeer. They believe that Santa Claus fills up their stockings with toys and goodies. He gets in and out of people's houses through their chimneys. We don't get off work or school for all these days, but many of them are holidays from work and school. Movies I go to the movies almost every week. Sometimes I rent movies from the video store. My favorite films are action films. I like to watch car chases. I like it when the bad guy has a shootout with the good guys. I like the good guys to win. I also like science fiction movies. I like things that take place in the future. I like movies that have aliens from different planets in them. Some of the science fiction movies can be silly and unbelievable. I don't like those ones. My mother likes dramas. She has a lot of favorite actors and actresses. She sometimes watches sad movies that make her cry. She also likes comedies. She laughs out loud if a comedy is very funny. My father likes horror movies. He likes movies with monsters in them. He also likes thrillers. I have watched some thrillers that keep you tense and on the edge of your seat. Sometimes I have to shut my eyes if the movie gets too scary. My brother likes animated films. In animated films, there are no actors, just cartoon characters. My brother goes to the movies on Saturday afternoons with his friends. He goes to the matinee. He gets popcorn, candy, and pop. He usually comes back with a stomach ache because he eats so much. Sometimes my father watches documentaries. 
Documentaries are about real things. You can learn a lot from watching a documentary. I watch documentaries with him sometimes, but I would rather see a good action film. My country. I live in Canada. It is a very large country that is made up of ten provinces and three territories. Most of the provinces and territories are quite unique. For example, in Saskatchewan, the land is flat and it is not surrounded by water. They grow wheat in Saskatchewan. British Columbia has mountains. I have never been to British Columbia, but I hear that it is very beautiful. Nova Scotia is on the Atlantic Ocean, so there are many fishermen out there. The people in the provinces are even different from each other. In Quebec, many of the people speak French. In the maritime provinces, the people like to play their own kind of music. They play fiddles and accordions, and many of them dance very well. Nunavut is in the north, so life is quite different there. The people who live in the new territory of Nunavut are very close to wildlife. They do a lot of hunting and fishing. It can get very cold up in the Arctic, where none of it is. I live in Ontario. Even within Ontario, life can be quite different. The capital of Ontario is Toronto. Toronto is a very busy city with lots of apartments, offices, and shops. Toronto is an exciting place, and it has a lot to offer. There are theaters and restaurants to suit every taste. The culture in Toronto is very diverse. If you drive a few miles north of Toronto, you will find places that are tranquil and peaceful. Many people leave Toronto on the weekends and drive to their cottages, where they find rest and relaxation. Canada is made up of many different cultures. People of many different ethnic backgrounds live in harmony in Canada. That is why I like Canada. In Canada, we celebrate our differences. Days of the week. There are seven days of the week. Sunday is a day of rest for some people, but many people still have to work. Quite a few people go to church on a Sunday. On Monday morning, we go back to school after the weekend. Many people say they don't like Monday because it is the beginning of the work week. Tuesday is a school day and a working day. I don't think that there is anything special about a Tuesday. Wednesday is the middle of the work week. On Thursday, many of the stores and malls stay open later. It gives you a chance to run some errands on a Thursday night. On Friday, you feel like the work week is nearly over. Some people say, "Thank goodness it is Friday." They look forward to the weekend. On Saturday, many people can sleep in late. People get errands done on Saturday. You see a lot of people in the grocery store on a Saturday. Most children look forward to Saturday so that they can play with their friends. Then Sunday comes again. The weeks turn into months, and the months turn into years. Time goes by quite quickly. Thanksgiving. We are having Thanksgiving at our house. My whole family is coming. My parents bought a turkey. It weighs thirty pounds. It takes a long time to cook. My mom wakes up early to cook the turkey. I clean the house with my dad. The house smells good. We help mom in the kitchen. I peel potatoes and carrots. My dad makes pumpkin pies. My mom cooks squash. I help my mom make stuffing. I mix the bread and spices. We make good stuffing. It goes inside the turkey. We put on nice clothes. I set the table. My dad carves the turkey. My mom makes the gravy.
Our relatives arrive. We say thank you for all we have. We eat and eat. It is a good Thanksgiving. Seasons. There are four seasons. Winter is the cold season. It snows in the winter. The winds blow, and ice forms on the water. We play hockey on the ice. We play in the snow. After winter is the spring. That is when it begins to get warmer. Trees get buds on them. Flowers start to bloom. It rains a lot in the spring. Spring is followed by the summer. It can get very hot in the summertime. The sun shines brightly. We go swimming in the summer. We spend a lot of time outdoors. Many people go on vacations in the summer. We get a summer vacation from school. Summer is followed by the fall or autumn. The leaves on the trees change colors. They change from green to red, orange, and brown. The leaves fall off the trees. The weather gets cooler. The days get shorter. We go back to school in the fall. Then winter comes again. The seasons follow one after each other. Weather. You can watch the weatherman on TV to find out what the weather will be like. It might be a nice clear day with no clouds in the sky. The sun might be shining. It could be a cloudy day. Sometimes cloudy days are just dull. On some cloudy days, it begins to rain or snow. Some days are rainy. You need a raincoat, umbrella, and boots on a rainy day. Rain makes the flowers and grass grow. The weather forecast might say that it will be windy. You could have a gentle breeze. It might be very gusty, so that the wind pushes you. It is dangerous if the wind is very strong. A hurricane or tornado is very dangerous. Once in a while, the weatherman says there will be hail. Hailstones are hard, cold pellets of ice that fall from the sky. Sometimes the weatherman will say that there will be snow flurries. Sometimes there is just a light dusting of snow. Sometimes there is a blizzard or a snowstorm. It can be dangerous driving through a blizzard. If there is a lot of snow, the streets have to be plowed. You need a hat, coat, mittens, and boots on a very cold day. Sometimes the weather forecast is wrong. The weatherman might say that it will be a sunny day, but then the clouds come in and it rains. That is not good if you are planning a picnic. I prefer sunny days that are warm but not too hot. I like to feel a gentle breeze to cool me down. The shopping mall. There are many different stores in the shopping mall. There are ladies' wear stores. They sell dresses, blouses, and many kinds of clothes for women. In the men's wear stores, there are suits, ties, shirts, and slacks. There are also clothing stores that appeal just to teenagers. Some clothing stores only sell children's clothes. There is even a store that sells bathing suits and cover-ups for the beach or pool. There are lingerie stores that sell ladies' underwear and nightwear. There are hardware stores that sell tools. There are shoe stores. You buy shoes and boots in a shoe store. There are bookstores. You can buy a book on almost any topic at the bookstore. There are stores that sell compact discs. Those stores also have tapes and videos. There are sports stores that sell special shoes and clothes for sports. They also sell sports equipment and T-shirts and hats with the logo of your favorite teams. 
There are gift stores that sell all kinds of things that someone might want for their house. There are kitchen stores where you can buy utensils and pots and pans. Those kinds of stores also sell aprons and napkins and anything you might need for your kitchen. There is a movie theater at the mall. There is a jewelry store that has a lot of gold and silver jewelry. There is a hairdresser in the mall. Sometimes I go in there to get my hair cut. There are fast food places in the mall. You can get a quick lunch like a hamburger or some french fries. There are also fancier restaurants in the mall. You can sit down for a nice meal. There is a furniture store in the mall. You can buy a new sofa or bed at the furniture store. There are bulk food stores. At a bulk food store, all the foods are in bins. You take as much as you want and pay for it at the counter. There is even a telephone store and an electronic store at the mall. My brother's favorite store is the toy store. He could spend hours in there. There are also department stores at the mall. Department stores sell all kinds of things. They sell perfume, clothes, shoes, kitchen utensils, or just about anything you might need. You can get almost anything you want at the shopping mall. The School Play We are putting on a play at school. Some of the students are actors in the play. Some people are building the sets. Some people will sew costumes, and some people will be makeup artists. The teacher is the director of the play. The play will be held on a big stage in the gymnasium. The curtains will open, the lights will go on, and the play will begin. It will be very exciting. All of our families will come to see the play. They will clap when the play is over. My friend is very good at cutting wood and building things. He's helping to build the set. My other friend, Michael, is an artist, so he is painting the set so that it looks like a forest. My friend Marie likes to put makeup on people, so she is a makeup artist. She will put makeup on me so that I will look like an old woman. Some of the mothers help to sew the costumes. The play is called Hansel and Gretel. I will play the part of the witch. The boy who plays Hansel has to wear shorts and a shirt. I wear a witch's hat and a black dress. I also carry a broom. Some of the people in my class will be dressed like trees and flowers. This is a musical play, and the trees and flowers will sing to Hansel and Gretel as they walk through the forest. I can hardly wait for opening night. I want my family and friends to see me acting on stage. I hope they will like the play. We have all learned our lines and worked very hard at making this play a success. My first day of school. I remember my first day of school. I was excited, but I was afraid. I held my mother's hand as we walked to the school. When we got near the school, I wouldn't let her hold my hand anymore. I didn't want to look like a baby. We got to the school. The school looked very big and frightening. There were children outside on the playground. They all looked very big. I looked at them, and some of them looked at me. I felt very small. My mother and I went into the school and found the kindergarten room. There were children in there. Most of them were the same size as me. My mother spoke to the kindergarten teacher. The teacher was very nice. She said my name, and she introduced me to some of the other children. I already knew some of the children because they lived near me. I began to play with some of the things that were in the classroom. There were toy trucks, coloring books, and even a dollhouse. I soon forgot to be scared and I began to play with the other children. I didn't even notice that my mother had left the room. In school, we sang songs, played some games, and listened as the teacher read us a story. I had a lot of fun on my first day of school. 
I even drew a picture of my teacher. I took the picture home, and my mother put it on the refrigerator. I like school. It is a good place to meet new friends and learn all about the world. Wild animals. Some animals are wild. They don't live in homes or cages. They live in jungles or on plains. The lion is the king of the beasts. He is very mighty. He roars loudly. The giraffe has a long neck. He eats leaves from the tallest trees. The elephant is very large. He has a trunk and two tusks. A tiger has stripes. Some bears are black and some are brown. There are even white bears called polar bears. A kangaroo lives in Australia. That is the only place that you would find a kangaroo, except in a zoo. It might be frightening to run into a wolf or a fox. Monkeys run and play in the trees. In Canada, we don't see lions, tigers, giraffes, or monkeys running wild. There are squirrels in my backyard. Sometimes I see a raccoon or a chipmunk. In northern Ontario, you might see a moose or a bear. I have seen a deer in the forest. There are many wild animals. You can see wild animals if you go to the zoo. Joe's first car. Joe is eighteen years old. Joe works at McDonald's. Joe saves all his money. Joe has twenty-five hundred dollars in the bank. He wants to buy a sports car. Joe starts to look for a new car. Joe looks in the newspaper. Joe looks in magazines. Joe finds a car he likes. Joe goes to see the car with his dad. He really likes it. Joe doesn't have enough money. Joe's dad tells him to keep saving his money. Joe wants this car a lot. Joe asks his dad to help him. Joe and his dad make a deal. Joe's dad will lend him the money. Joe must work hard. He must pay the money back to his dad. Joe is very happy. Joe owns his first car. Summer vacation. Today is the last day of school. It is summer vacation. Grace is very excited. This summer will be fun. Grace is going to visit her grandparents. They have a cottage. The cottage is on Lake Erie. It is a lot of fun. Grace is going to swim. She is going to play board games. She is going to talk with her grandparents. Grace is going to have fun. Grace is going to a summer camp. She will sleep in a cabin. She will make lots of new friends. Grace will learn campfire songs. Camp will be fun. Grace is going to Cape Cod with her parents. We are going for two weeks. We are going to drive. Grace will see the ocean. Cape Cod will be beautiful. Summer vacation is fun.